Okay, so I know you guys been waiting for like 20 years for this fucking goddamn stupid guide that's probably outdated by now. This is literally kind of just my opinion, almost. Let's get into this. I, there's no bullshit. I might fucking stutter a bit, but hey, you're here for the ride. You want to know how to stock? Suffer with me. The first things we're going to get into are basically, you know, what you need to do first thing in a match. Like, oh shit, okay. I'm going into a match that's probably not even going to let me go into this shit again for the next 20 minutes. What do I do? What you want to do is probably go down and loot like your life depends on it. Because it does! Go loot! So, you're done with uh, looting in the maze in the town. What do you do now? There are many things you could do when you're in the town. You uh, you just record kids, cause havoc, or you can tail behind them, actually linger in the shadows, wait for them to drop bodies, you know, cause sin, kick in some doors, wait for them to be sinful and record their sins. Do you mind if somebody knocks out a body and they're knocked out too? Do not record them yet because you won't get any points for it because they are not awake to atone for their sins. Other things you could do are plan is areas of escape, you know, put down sleep trip wires in areas that aren't really easy to detect, and you'll run through them, kids will run through them and, you know, hit them, and their stamina will go down. Or you could just escape on your own by using weapons, you know, I say weapons, they're really just escape items like flashbangs and trank darts. Trank darts are the, probably the most offensive thing, like, animation-wise. Flashbang's just a good old whoop, whoop. That's that's it like you've just seen it makes them blind and I think rotates them in a random direction it causes havoc they go blind sometimes they have to panic they panic trank like this person did and you can run up record their body get out of there or you could be like I am and just keep recording them other items you want to use are probably snacks, trank darts, and flashbangs those are the three that's the trifecta of power you want to go through because it snack, you get hit with a trank dart, you just pop a snack and keep running. Or you're out of energy, pop a snack, keep running. Trank dart is good for altercations like what you just seen in the video and slowing down people. Say if you're in a one-on-one -on -one situation, their friend is really far away, you could just trank them. That gives you the small little bit of time to probably, you know, pop a snack and run. Like I just said, it is really just a rinse and repeat situation when you want to get away from kids it's really up to them to shake up your escape things you want to consider before you know even stalking one the cost a single dossier how do you get said dossier you know play like a regular tbc kid get stalked by another stalker or buy one through snacks i forgot how much it is um, other things you can get it through are divine gifts. Those aren't really given out as often anymore. There are no other ways to get stalker dossiers other than those three. You know, it costs one stalker dossier to go in and stalk a match. You can get a stalker dossier back for t total team wiping. I think I mentioned that already. That, other than that, there's no other ways. Other things to consider are the levels of your opponents. You know, if you know them personally, you may know what their powers are. You might know if they're running unstoppable, so you might need to work around that. If they're running takedown, you know that they'll be more sinful than most, and their shape might come out earlier. So you need to consider the person you're stalking, their, you know, skill level. You don't know how good they are, how experienced they are with the game. They might just juice you. They might just turn you into no pulp apple juice. You, you know what I'm saying. They might they might go through the concentration of smacking you. You know, <laughs> it's it's not going to be fun if you go up against somebody experienced. You might be wiped in seconds. You don't know, really. If it's baby ninjas, then you don't have to worry too much. The only thing you have to worry is about them smacking themselves too hard, a.k.a. You know, not knowing how to deal with a stalker, everyone's been there, everyone crumbles. Everyone experiences failure in some way. Don't be ashamed about getting caught, because that's the whole thing about stalker. You're probably going to get caught no matter what. 
I get caught by completely noob. I say noobs. They're probably like a little bit experienced, but you know what I mean. I'm caught by somebody that's probably new to the game under certain circumstances. You're probably going to be caught because maybe you had no items or maybe the lag was too bad. There's so many circumstances you need to consider when going into stalking. There's not much else to say other than what playstyles you might want to go with on your first try. You probably want to try the stealth approach either way, depending on if you're just playing the regular game, if you're playing stalker, you probably want to try the stealth approach and get the lay of the land. You don't want to be a predictable Patrick and get caught running in a straight line, do you? No, nobody wants to be a predictable Patrick. No one. Another tip you want to know is what you want to do during stalking. Probably want to be a gremlin sometimes if your enemy's being a little too boring and sitting around being stealthy. It will provide them panic and, well, you'll probably panic a little too. Something might go awry, you might stress over it, but really, if you get caught, you get caught. There's no shame in being caught. If you feel shame in being caught, then I feel sorry for you. Sassiness aside, I'm not here to judge. You may develop your own ways of stalking, your own strategies, and that is perfect. You are going to want to individualize your way of stalking. You may want to have your own way of blood stalking. You might want to have your own way of friendly stalking. If you're unpredictable, the better you're going to become. The more, I guess, I don't know how to put it. The more mysterious you are. That, that's the way to put it. The more mysterious you are, the better. What's that I hear you asking? W what are the other benefits to stalking? Oh, well, stick around a little bit more longer. I might tell you. Who knows? The benefits are cosmetics earned by the le stalker leaderboards. If you get to top 10 to 4, I believe, you get a cool stalker tee. If you get to top 3 to 1, you get the top stalker jacket. They both equally look pretty cool. I like the design. T props to the design team of this game. Whoever designed the cosmetics, props to you, man. So are you wondering, what did I just come out of at the beginning of the match? Well, those are the red doors. And what the red doors do are basically teleportation devices. That's the easiest way to put it, teleportation. There's a cooldown to these. You can't come in and out. You need to wait every time you use it to you every time you go in and out of the said door it is pretty useful to get from point a to point b i do want to mention that more experienced players like to trap hotspot areas for stalkers like say in the maze i think it's host conditioning where there's a lot of chests in the area and there's a red door there's two red doors in that area too it's really easy to access that area as a stalker, so experienced players like to trap that area. Keep in mind. So, kids are probably going to get smarter the more you stalk, or, you know, you might just come in late and you've already got stuff set up for stalkers. You might come across traps or bait. They might anticipate your entrance, because there's leg spikes. you got to remember that they probably know you're going to be there because of that stupid leg spike. Traps could be a lot of bodies out in the open, right in front of a red door. They could be, I don't know, maybe the Cancellor Mission Room, too. They definitely probably want to trap that room. And if you're stuck, you might want to look for that room, because there's going to be a lot of bodies, depending on if they're going for a lot of XP or not. Another trap could be a kid faking to be FK, or just generally... A experienced player yes that's right experienced players themselves can be a trap how you might ask I don't know a good flashbang could really do a stalker in that's all it takes is one flashbang to your forehead so you made it to the end of the stalker guide I congratulate you because that probably means you really want to start stalking and you know I wish to see you out there I hope you good luck and remain vigilant. You speak as one.